everybody, and welcome to episode 95 of the Hardcore Vanilla series. And in this particular episode, I <laughs> would like to finish crafting my gyrocopter, because apparently it got deleted at some point, which does not make me happy. But in order to get a gyrocopter, I have to get a wheel. In order to get a wheel, the best way to do that would be, well, out in the world, actually tearing apart cars and the like. So, I'll do that for a little bit. Just a little bit. Because I'd rather do this than waste resources crafting a new, uh, set of wheels. When you can get them from cars naturally, your best bet really is to just tear these things apart. At least that's where my brain goes. Did I get a wheel? No? I wonder what the odds are for it. How do the wheels? on the bus go round and round. The world may never know. Mm. If it was Darkness Falls, I could just tear these apart to get wheels, but it's not, so I can't. And I won't. I guess I did tear it apart, but I won't get the wheels, at least. Ah, here's the fourth iteration of the Mortician's house. There's no vehicles here, though. At least as far as I know. Is there one in the back? Let I'm me check. Yeah, I didn't ask, Shirley. Next time you should probably wait for the part where I'm like, hey, Shirley, are we, uh, you know, are we alone? Oh, what's up, copper? How's it going? Just had the hardest damn time hitting that cop on the head. I don't know why. He was just so big and chunky, I just wanted to hit him. There's gotta be vehicles around here somewhere. Maybe on the farm there's tractors. Could get some wheels there. Sure, I haven't picked apart everything in this town. Right over here, I bet there's a vehicle. There is. Ooh, a truck. You're mine now. Give me wheel. No? Still two? Oh, god. What about in here? Is there anything vehicular? Yeah, there is. What, what are you? What? Get, get out of my way. You. You're dead. Where, where, where are you going, lady? Ouch. Listen, copper. I ain't into that. I didn't ask you to spit in my mouth. Save that for the strip club. That's great, Shirley. You're a little late to the party, though. Come on, give me your wheels. That's all I want is your wheels. Getting bottles of acid, which is great and all, but I want wheels. Still none? Oh, God. What do I have to do to get me some wheels? All I want to do is build my gyrocopter. <laughs> I just want my gyrocopter back. Sky supremacy. It's what we need. Oh, vehicle. Oh, wait, did I just... I did. I read the book. The thing that I've been looking for. For honestly too long. The Ranger's Guide to Archery, I can now bolt craft arrows and bolts, including the exploding ones. Which are the ones that we actually want? The ones that go boom boom. Let's grab this crap. Hmm. Oh, we have a Judy Witch POI. Is there usually vehicles in here? I don't think so. Oh, there is a tractor. I see you. You can't hide from me. I'm gonna get your wheels, whether you like it or not. At least I hope so. Whether I like it or not, I got like three car batteries out of that. No wheels, though. If I remember correctly, there's also a vehicle in here. Unless I tore it apart. Oh, hello. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I've definitely been here before. Scrap the crap out of the Mo Mechanic or Mo Electronic vehicle that's usually in there. Oh, there's a car right next to me and I didn't even realize it. Oh, very like me. Come on, wheels. Just give me wheels. No? <laughs> The batteries, though. Mad batteries. Guess I'm getting engines as well, for whatever that's worth. Don't hit anything? Good. Hmm. What do we do about this? Suppose we'll just take apart anything on the way back home, and if we can't get our fix, our wheel fix, then we'll just have to craft wheels. I believe there's a nice little parking area over here with a couple vehicles. Yeah. Yeah. Howdy do, vehicular entity. Nice to meet you. My inventory is very full. Shirley? I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I've casually switched between Shirley and Sherry with this thing, but whatever. Sherry? <laughs> Shirley, take my loot. I really haven't got... It sucks that I can't just pick those up, put a little air in them, call it good, put it on my gyrocopter. Ah, the wheels aren't that important anyway. On a gyrocopter, at least. Three more vehicles and... No tires. Alright, I get it. Message loud and clear, fun pimps. I'll go craft the damn tires myself. Oh, oh, back it up. Nope. Little divot there. Stop me. Beep. 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 Alright, we're back on the road. Time to get back home, which is this way. Well, I'll have to craft a wheel, and then a gyrocopter. So I guess that's what I'm doing for today. Along with any infested clears that I can do in the 
interim of the crafting period. Well, let's clear a lot of this crap out. Got more batteries. I guess it doesn't hurt to have those. Specifically the higher tier ones. They're nice. Real nice to have. Surely, give me this stuff. Uh, I guess I'll take the ammo and such too. Might as well store them somewhere. I do love watching the ammo just stack up. We have so much. Engines in here, electric chest, you get these. Batteries. Give me that back. But the batteries you can keep. I guess... Security camera bundle as well? I don't know. Take that. It's yours now. Not my problem. Oh. Oh. Ah, look at that. We've actually filled the chest. Entirely. We need another 762 chest. I guess we'll put it above here in the corner. Where did that box just go? I took it in my inventory, didn't I? Did... Wait. <laughs> no, I didn't. I just separated it from the stack. How very like me. Alright. Up here. I don't know what to name you. Um, seven, six, second. Chest. Yay. Open this up, start putting some ammo in here. Suppose I should do the thing where I make the extra stacks. Oh dear. Things are escalating. Did you? You did. <laughs> that turret was a great idea. Thank you, commenter, who gave me that particular piece of advice. I gotta start doing that more by default. Actually increasing the defenses of my hope. Alright, now we need to figure out how to craft a wheel. Wheel. On the bus. Round and round. Coal. Ten of it. Okay. There's that. Said it wanted two iron, I believe. So there's that. I'm sure we need bottles of acid. Scrap two. Hopefully it doesn't take more. Oh, it only takes one. Two oil. Scrap polymers. Okay, this isn't too bad, honestly. What was the other part? Oh, oil. Like this and wheel. What? But I just... Oh, I didn't. <laughs> I keep separating things from stacks, but not actually putting them in my inventory. Oh, the wheels only take 30 seconds. Not bad. It's pretty convenient. And once that's done, what am I going to need for the gyrocopter? I'm sure it's not just what I have. The three wheels, this uh, engine and battery. One and two. Let's grab the lower tier ones. It's the only purpose they really serve. Since the tier of battery you use in the craft doesn't matter. Wait, what? Still says I can't craft it. Why? Oh, right. My wheels are in here. Durr. Gyrocopter on the way. Another three minutes? All right. Now that that's done, let's check the vending machines. Mega Crush. Don't mind if I do. It's like those. Oh my goodness, I didn't have enough money on me. That's like a bad joke. Give me that. Now I am going to go and start doing some more infested clears. Because I want ammo. Insane amounts of ammo. One chest of 762 is not enough. I'd love to have at least four, maybe even five. Me again. Did you get a restock? It looks like you did. No books worth mentioning, that's for certain. Resources. I could keep buying the gasoline. It doesn't hurt. Keeps me from having to go into the desert, so yeah, I'll keep doing that. Parts, cobblestone, whatever. Tools? Also whatever. Weapons. Hmm, 150 shotgun shells. That's only 3k? Thanks. I'll take it. 762, irrelevant. I have more than enough. I guess her store has been updated and changed slightly because I did, in fact, max out Better Barter. So, she's offering better things now. Slightly better things, nothing too crazy, but better things. Including a whole forge. That's unexpected, certainly. I'm not gonna take it, I have plenty at home, and all the resources needed to make more. But the sentiment is appreciated. No, you remember me if, if, if I need... Med medical supplies. Shut up. Taylor Manor. Let's see what that's about. All right. Inventory has quite a bit of extra stuff I don't need. I guess I'll drop some of it off. Well, do you see that? Little biker in the distance. Adorable. <laughs> Popped him right up off the ground. Boom. It is interesting. The machine gun bullets go further than the magnum bullets. There's a drop-off issue. There's a drop-off issue, Jimmy. Ooh. Oh, seconds to go. I guess I'll just stand around. Put the shotgun ammo away. Did I have anything else on me? Mega Crush. That goes in here. Stacking that up real quick. Miscellaneous storage. Take this extra crap. You know, I could actually take the time to make another one of those turbo things. Is it called turbo? Hmm. Vehicle. Vehicle mods. What is it called? Supercharger. Uh... Eventually. Eventually. For now... <laughs> you know, I... I don't like the thing that they targeted my gyrocopter. I'm going to put it in the middle of the road this time. Further from the base. And try to keep it parked somewhere around this area. Ooh, what did I just do? I just tracked something. Well, untrack it. There we go. Gyrocopter. Let's put these mods inside of it, of course. Get back in there. Good. Take some time to refuel it as well. 3,000? That's all it takes for that? Mm, not bad. 
You know what? I will take the time to make the supercharger. Screw it. And the fuel saver. This takes a radiator. Do I have one of those? Yes. Go me. There's that. I think it said it wanted iron. And then, what else? Pipes. Mechanical parts. Easy enough. Pipes. Mechanical. What have we done? Is there more? Steel. Wait. Oh, it wants steel, not iron. Mm. Let's see how it is. Let's go and just take half a stack or so. Maybe a quarter stack. Whatever. Supercharger. Craft. Fuel saver wouldn't hurt. That takes bottles of acid, though. And I have plenty of gasoline. And money to replace my gasoline when it runs out. So, no, I don't need the fuel saver. What I do need, however, <laughs> is just to save these kind of activities for the nighttime. Because I can only quest during the daytime. I have a bad habit of starting the episodes off with all the inquisitive stuff. When what we should be doing is rummaging through the houses, clearing infesteds, getting that wonderful, wonderful ammo. I hear what sounds like a supply drop. Looks like they want me to enter this POI from over here, maybe? Now just hop the fence. Oopsie daisy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I guess they really did just want me to enter from a different spot. This is an interesting looking POI. Let's, oh, I don't know, destroy everything inside it? What in the world <laughs> is with this POI? This is pretty crazy. I went into the basement and, well, I thought it would be standard basement material. You know, you go in, there's a couple zombies behind a box or something. And then you clear it out and everything's a-okay. Okie dokie. Fine and dandy. Hmm. Beer. Instead, we have a single cracker book and then seemingly a hole into a sewage type system and then whatever the hell's going on here. Pretty interesting. And we have some nerds sleeping in the corner. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I love when they just drop. Is this it? I thought we'd get some bigger numbers. Certainly you guys have got a little more fight in you than this. You see two dots. Oh, you're literally stuck behind a door. Great. Hmm. You know, this POI is pretty cool. <laughs> I'd almost want to base up in the, like this spot right here. Underground. I don't know, I just love all the underground stuff. It's cool. The beans are super cool. But we've magically made our way to the epic loot right at the end from the get-go. I seem to have a habit of doing this. So, let's get it. Take the good stuff while you can. Ah, weapons bag as well. <laughs> Lever action rifle, come on. We've got better stuff than this. Certainly you can offer more, more than just a single lever action rifle. Meds. Let's go ahead and crack this open. No bottle of acid. Too bad. Suppose I'll take the blood bag in case I ever decide to start making fork bites. We're getting to a point where I could do that pretty casually. You know what else I could do casually? Unlock this damn chest. And so I did. Water purifier, a bunch of crap. Every single one of these seems to have 6 to 12 lockpicks in them. And I don't know why. I just don't understand. Like, I, I'm already in the chest. Give me the lockpicks before. <laughs> before I try to go into the damn chest. What is back here? Looks like garbage. Mm hmm? Punch through. No, oh, it actually is garbage right here. And the dead lady. Button? Huh. I really am at the end of the POI. This is not the pr proper path to take. Time to go back inside the house, I suppose. See what we missed. Which I'm sure is like the entire POI. See, this is where I went, and then it just, yeah, escalated, we'll say. I suppose that would be the proper phrasing. Ooh, cloth. Don't mind if I do. Any more of that good stuff? I, I could really, I could really use a, use a fix of some, <clears throat> some cloth. Mmm. Do love me some cloth. Never get enough. I see you up there, cloth. You're not getting away from me. Oh, that's a big old hole in the roof. I didn't notice that. Mmm. Bookshelves. Yummy. Cloth. Even more yummy. I miss some over here. How dare I? Anyone in here? Ooh, more cloth. Really, it must be my birthday. No bottles of acid? Damn. Shoes of the gothic variety. Oh. Oh, I thought she was dead. <laughs> just silently... Oh, that's the rest of the POI. Just silently enter a room like, don't mind me, I'm just gonna tear apart your bed for its springs. And clearly, they took offense to that. More aloe, fort bites. Tear this thing apart. See if I can get some acid. Yes, I did. Hooray. Already got the bookshelf, so time to go. Now let's get out of here real quick like. On our wonderful little motorbike. I'm thinking we might be able to clear out two more quests. 
for the day before the sun goes down. All right, Jen, everyone's dead. You're welcome. Give me money. Ooh, tier six robotic turret. Ooh, 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 ooh. You spoil me, Jed. What else do we have for nearby? Oh, God. Nothing. There's just nothing. It's... A <laughs> that was, like, the only tier... Well, the... That was, like, the only infested clear that isn't over a kilometer away. Yucky. I mean, I, I could do a different quest, but... Uh, it's not worth it. Hmm. <laughs> well, it's not infested clear, but it's the next best thing. It's that wonderful, wonderful POI that we have basically been given Stockholm Syndrome for. Let's go meet our old friend, the Judy Witch, and see how she's been. I mean, it's almost been an entire four or so episodes since we've seen one of these POIs. <laughs> the heresy. Could you imagine going that long without seeing Judy Witch? I couldn't. Now if I could just find the proper way in over here. All right. <laughs> Let's go ahead and just run through this thing like the fever dream that it is. Every time I enter, first thing I get is some shrooms. Oh, bad time to reload. Don't do it! Oh, he exploded. I'm gonna do a quick extra through here. I started getting lost in the sauce Doomslayer style. My brain registered I was in the Judy Witch POI and I was like, oh god, I need to get this over with now. But there's a lot of cloth in here, honestly. Just gotta stop and take the time to get it. Look at that. One room, 56 cloth, not bad at all. I bet there's more, too. Yes, there is. <laughs> Just enter the POI, vision goes red. There's a lot of radiated cops in here. I think I came across three or four of them, just in these first two floors. It's weirdly aggressive. Uh, oh, one more bed. Ray. While I may not be getting ammo back for this, I am getting all the good stuff. You know, the cloth. Get to reset the POI for that. The springs. It, it's really just the cloth, actually. What am I saying? Let's head right on down here. This is noticeably easier when it's not infested clear. Having half the amount of zombies is honestly a little sad. I almost feel lonely. But then all the loneliness goes away when I realize, ooh, got a tier 6 robotic turret. I'd like to get another one of those. I'd like to get a couple of them, but more importantly, I'd like this door to go away. <laughs> that damn white had some serious moves. Very serious moves. Good old grip of electronics parts. Ah, uh, it's too bad. We're almost nearing the end of the POI. We all love this POI, don't we? We don't want it to end, ever. We would... <laughs> I'm sure we'd all appreciate just running through Judy Witch non-stop. You know what? <laughs> Maybe if I went and learned a little bit of modding, I could figure out how to make it so that every POI in seven days <laughs> is just either Judy Witch or the Mortician's house. That would be wonderful, I'm sure. Ooh, lamb rations. You, you gotta go. And so you did. Time charges? <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Let's get rid of the rest of this crap. Take Dukes, the ammo, and the treasure map. Robotics parts? I'll take that too. What's this? Rifle parts? Get out of here. Don't need ya. Read the treasure map. Have a little happy reload action. And now we greet our... Attic dwelling, yes. And they were so very happy to see us. So much that one of them came running at me just to give me a little hug. Now, there's a proper way to make use of these time charges, and it looks kind of like this. Do 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 <laughs> Don't worry, buddy, you can have one too. They're free. Pass them out like hotcakes. Yep, come on, pal. Come on. <laughs> Wonderful. We got a couple more. Why not? Everybody gets what? Everybody. Oh, a twofer. Let's get this one now. There you go. Let's see what you got, buddy. Now you got something on your arm there. You want me to... Oh, never mind. Hmm. Makes me curious. How much damage will it do to this generator? I am honestly unsure. Uh, 100 and... 92 damage. Weird. That's very weird, actually. Now you. Got any wheels? I'm apparently out. 
just dropping an awful lot of stuff here. Is any of the wheels? I'd like for it to be. Robot, open up. Well, let's drop the rotten flesh, don't need it. Give you some ammo. Which should clear up plenty of space for all of this. Probably not, maybe. Huh? I got a single stone, radiator, some rotting flesh. I didn't want half of that. Ah, this precious little door. Every single time, we've just got to do this. And as happy as we were to see it, we're just as happy to see it go away. All right, back to Jed. Don't hit the pole, don't do it. Yeah, we, wait, that's not even where I need to go. Again, my brain defaulted to heading toward the red flag. <laughs> just, just like all of my relationships. Now I'm not sure if I could squeeze in another quest, or if it would even be worth it. I did technically just waste a bunch of ammo. I didn't get a return because there was no infested cache. I simply lost. Or if I did get a return, it's not a very big one. Most of what I got was XP and cloth. Jen, that job sucked. Give me more infested clears. Ooh, exploding crossbow bolts, nice. Crafting skill magazine, sure. What else do you have that might be worth mentioning? Not much, honestly. You know, I keep picking up those treasure things. Well, the treasure maps. And they serve no purpose because I already have them. So perhaps I should go and clear those out. Get all of the nearest ones. If I can... Wait, wait, where? Oh, they're all like down and left. Or up and left. Interesting. How do I... I can't really make it the target, though, can I? Looks like I want to head northeast. I'm going to clear my inventory, and then I think I might end up spending the next while just farming the crap out of treasure chests. Because they could potentially have ammo as well. That could be good. Could be. Could. You never really know. After all, it is RNG. Tends to be a little finicky. I think inventory management is one of the things that could really improve the quality of life in this game. If they just had hotkeys for all these buttons, or even half of them, couldn't be terrible, right? Got to set up a new stack for springs. I'm getting all kinds of spronk. Now, this turret is absolutely getting replaced with the tier 6. But I have, yet again, maxed out my robotics skill. Oh, I can fit a whole other mod on here. Amazing. What do we want to do? What can we do? That's the real question. It already has a barrel extender. Couldn't it fit, uh, I thought there was like a shotgun thing. Is it the choke? No, that's not it. The one that increases damage or magazine size or something. It's already got a drum over here, maybe. Sort out, get the mods. Sawed off? No, that's not it. Mmm. You sort out as well. No mods in here. Neat. Uh, this thing. The tube extender. Can we have the tube extender and the barrel extender at the same time? No, it's one or the other. Oh, you can't even put the tube extender on here. I thought you could. I feel deceived. And a little bit sad. For now, I guess we'll try the shotgun choke. See if we can't do that. It says we can't. That would also take up the barrel extender slot. Hmm. Interesting. What do? This begs the question of what actually could be put on this. Trigger group full auto. Can I do that? You can. Eh? Come around the back? You want to come around the back or what? Come on, over this way. I hear you. Shush. No bad feelings to be had here, surely. None at all. Alright, so I guess the full auto mod is what we're putting on there. So, what do we want to put on the new one? <laughs> Triple pocket mod? Shotgun choke? This? No? Oh, we have another full auto trigger group. Let's so we'll do that. I think I can only fit three? Uh, let's go ahead and put a shotgun choke on it, I suppose. Since I don't think I have a barrel extender. Then we'll put... a magazine extender. One, two, three. Sure. I'm sure I have a barrel magazine thing. Magazine barrel. Somewhere here. But mm, whatever. Let's go ahead and reload both of these so they're always ready. Here's something I would actually like to do. I would like to keep one of my robotic turrets out here. This is something I wanted to do prior, but then I, well, prior to the beginning of the series, was to make a huge set of uh, robotic turrets for Horde Knight and such, but then I figured out that they switched the ammo requirements from iron to lead, and that is a huge difference. That ain't no small thing. I still have a time charge on me. Hmm, what do? Yeah, let's just blow up this fence, I guess. Here, eh, take that. That's yours now. You're welcome. Really? Really? That barely damaged it at all. It's like a quarter of its health. Like a hundred. hundred block damage. It's supposed to be more than that, I'm sure. I'm entirely certain, Jimmy. I know. Uh, I don't really use building blocks anymore during combat. You know what I really don't use? This thing. Mm. For now, this robotic turret will be placed out here, where the bench is. Right around... Let's get rid of this 
little pole here that's in the way. Put this right around here. So when screamers come up to my front door, it will blast them. And it'll be great. Everyone will be happy. I've got my auger, lots of gasoline. Mm -hmm, gasoline. I could bring coffee, maybe. How much do I have? I could use more coffee. Speaking of which, how are the dew collectors doing? Three apiece? Let's get it. All of it. While it may in fact be a good idea to get more dew collectors, I also think... These are a big part of the reason why I keep getting screamers. Because even before I'd set up all those forges, there was quite an excessive amount. And I think it's because of those. Those produce heat. Lots and lots of heat. Now that I've got these... Oh, there's more coffee. Nice. Now I should have more coffee beans somewhere in here. Right? 26 of them. Is that it? Hmm, I don't know. That's great, Trader Joel. You know what? I am going to max out living off the land. Once I get the opportunity, and then I'll make more coffee. <laughs> ah, turrets. Not to be mistaken with turrets. Let's go up here and dump the water for now. I'll mass craft glue at some point, just not this point. Now, let's spend the night going to get treasure. I think it's a good idea. Starting with these in the northeast-ish. Sorry, northwest-ish. That's great. So my, my food and water is full. It's just eternally full from zombie drops and loot now. <laughs> I never actually have to eat or drink anything that I've made, which is wonderful, honestly. Having to think less about that so I can think more about how to not die. It's quite the boon. Ah, the nighttime ring-a-ding. Hmm, should I get the supply crate? I don't know. I should probably tear apart cars, actually. I just passed by one. I have plenty of room between the robot and myself. And oh, I guess I'll loot it first. Pipes, whatever. I have plenty of room in for inventory. Please don't hit the thing. Yeah, your turn radius is worse than I think. I need to remember that. But I have plenty of room for stuff. I just need to find more cars and potentially be more picky, like stop drop or start dropping. Not stop. Start dropping leather. I don't need any more. I have multiple stacks. Too many stacks. Well, there's that rest area that used to have a lot of cars, but I kind of went to town on it. So now there's not... Where? You're tripping, surely. There's nothing here but you and me. And if you keep saying that, well, there's nothing else here, it's just gonna be me. And we're getting close to some of the treasure. I'm just... Oh, that's a tree. It's dark. My bad. Oh, damn, these headlamps are super. Wow, <laughs> look at that difference. That is intense. Just... All right, let's keep that on for now. Let's keep it on forever, really. Oh, there's a zombie. Didn't warn me about that one, now did you, Shirley? Of course you didn't. Rock, rock, rock. That's a rock. All right, since this is a damn super headlight, let's go ahead and park right here and give myself all the light in the world. And then we'll start digging. But first, let's set up a little safety net, shall we? Like so. Digging time. All right, time to find out what we get. Oh, buckshot, some gold, a good bit of ammo. It's essentially like getting an infested cache, maybe a tier two or three one, but still an infested cache nonetheless. I also found another iron vein. Not that it matters. It's the most common of the veins. Mm, but also nitrate. Mm, I'll leave it. No need to mark it on the map or anything. You come with me. This little guy basically protected me the entire time. I didn't have to defend myself once, you know. How it is when your friends do your work for you. Ah, that makes me want to play Pal World. I'm slowly developing a wonderful little empire over in that game. But I've already got one over here. Let's go ahead and park right here. Give us some light. Drop down a turret. And it looks like we're going to run into more iron, as you can see. So, let's do that. After we reload. Now, let's do that. Oh, we actually found the treasure chest pretty quickly this time. Surprisingly quickly. It's also so much faster when you're not getting attacked every wave. But let's tear this open and see what we get. And what we get is... Uh, ammo and silver again. Eh, works for me. Looks like it's an ammo collecting kind of night. Let's go ahead and grab this turret. Yet again, I didn't have to defend myself because I have friends. Good friends. Turret friends. Now let's find the next nearest one. Straight north? Let's go get it. Right up this way, I believe. Yeah, that looks about right. And I brought plenty of gas, so we shouldn't have any problems there. Seems like this is the way that I'm likely to be doing treasure chests, surely. Do not interrupt me. I will disassemble your ass in a second. 
Seems like this is going to be most likely the way that I handle treasure chests in most series, unless there's a desperation for ammo at some point. Because it's just better to do them all at once, you know? I like to do things in bulk. <laughs> I'm sure anybody who's been watching has noticed, too. Anyways, let's dig a big ol' hole. And dig we did. Hmm, cripple mod. Now that's something that I could actually put on the turret and make use of. But first, we have to clear our inventory of useless things like rocket launcher parts and crossbow parts. I've got the single tier 5 crossbow and that's more than enough for me. Now where, oh where, could the next treasure be? Oh, this is that Trader Bob that I <laughs> basically spawned at, as you can see when I did the tutorial and dropped my bed. I haven't seen him in a while, now have I? The next treasure map is way down in the lower left, so southwest we go. Very southwest. Suppose I'll get any supply drops along the way as well. I did see one on top of a building inside my hometown, and that is not cool. <laughs> I don't want to have to nerd pull up to it. Sometimes these supply drops are good. Other times they're literal garbage. The consistency of treasure chests, at least, is far greater. You're almost guaranteed to get at least one stack of some kind of ammo in those, even in the early game. When your loot stage isn't as high, well, we're about to see what's up with the first supply drop. Let's hope it's not trash. Oh, what have we got in store? A, p a pump shotgun and some garbage. Great. I'm gonna drop the stones. It's probably the most useful useless of the many things that I've gotten here. Robot. Hey, hey, robot. I need you to take things like this and this and that. Anything that's a full stack or unstackable. There you go. Good robot. Now, what else do we have in here that's worth mentioning? Farmer bundle? Drop it. Don't care. Books? At least one of them is relevant. Now, let's get back to treasure hunting. Essentially. Well, bait this supply drop on my compass above is closer than any treasures. Didn't ask, surely. So we'll get the supply drop first and... Wait, gotta refuel. Like you do. Get the supply drop first and then head for the treasure. Ah, this is the one that was on top of a building somewhere. I can see it on my screen. Yourself, nerd. Oh god, how high is it? <laughs> it appears to be on top of a pretty tall POI. Can I slip between here? Oh god, not really yet? Yes, I can. <laughs> Me and my late driving skills. So, what exactly is that on top of? I think that's the tallest building in my town. I just did some mad tricks. I didn't even realize it was happening until I was like, what? Why am I not moving? What happened? What? Oh, it's the hospital. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm not going through the building, but you know what I will do? Because I'm a damn nerd. I'm gonna nerd pull. Up we go. See if I can't... Oh god, robot move. Well, if you do it just right with parkour, you can place two blocks per jump. What? Wait, hold on. One... Wait, no, hold on. One, two. One, two. So you get one on the way down as well. Oh, is this too high? Is that what's going on? Mm. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Things are gonna get real chaotic once I get up there. Oh boy. Here we go. What? The, what? <laughs> There's a zombie inside here, I think, that's just attacking walls. You're not gonna ignore him. My goal is one floor of- Oh, I just saw him flicker. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Buddy. Come on now, you can do better than that. Yeah, I'm gonna get a full reload before I do this, because I know up there gets real chaotic. Oof. We're gonna get up there and drop the turret first. You can already see a couple glowy boys right there. See that? Here we go. Oh, fight. <laughs> I could get the jump. Here we go. Yup. No? Okay. <laughs> they all fell down. Okay, here's where the chaos reigns. Is that it? I think I did it. I think they're all gone now. Oh, except for one. Little screechy boy. He's dead. What? Where are you guys all coming from? <laughs> Absolutely ludicrous. Let's get these dogs. 
free bones, you know? Hey, who do you think you are? Can't just come up behind me and slap my ass? Some kind of pervert? Well, I ain't interested. You're gonna need to be losing a little less flesh than that. I'm mostly into women with their flesh intact. And yours has clearly been compromised. A hundred concrete blocks. Uh, neat, I guess? <laughs> I don't know if this supply drop was worth it. But, for the sake of science, I think I'm gonna jump from here. No, not... <laughs> maybe not here. Maybe right here. Hmm... Oh, oh that was uncomfortable. <laughs> But I'm curious. That is a morning ring-a-ding-dong, and this is me testing how far I can fall from right here. I'll say right here. Science time! Hooray! Again, no damage from all the way up there. Hmm. Due to the scaling of fall damage in this game, I don't want to tempt it too much. You're off by a couple blocks and you die. That's how it usually goes. At least in my experience, death is mostly consistent of gravity in this game. Maybe that's just me. It could just be me. But, while that was a different night from usual, it was fairly beneficial. This is a wandering horde. Hold on. Alrighty then. <laughs> what is this about? The game just keeps giving me layups. Just free XP, kicking it around. What's up with the blue bag? I didn't shoot anyone over here. Reserve fuel tank, okay. Works for me. Anyways, this has been episode 95 of the Hardcore Vanilla series. Thank you all for watching. Can I put this tank in here? Can I reserve? No? Put it in my bike. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next episode. But for now, goodbye.